Boop! Happy Wednesday! Today is Wednesday, October the 6th, 2021. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 55, 1 through 15, Job 15, 1 through 35, Matthew 5, 27 through 36, or you could have read Psalm 112, Jeremiah 3, 6 through 14, and with Matthew again. And today, I'm just going to talk about, uh, talk about why bother? I mean, really, why? Uh, and not what you think I'm talking about. Today, I'm going to look at Matthew 5, 27 through 36, really 33 uh, through 36, uh, where Jesus talks about people liking to, how they like to swear. Um, he references um, what Moses has told us in the law, um, and that's, that's what's going on here. It's This is from the Sermon on the Mount, and a lot of what's going on here is Jesus will say, well, you've heard it said, but I say. So he's He's reminding them of what the law says, the law that God handed down to the people through Moses. And then he's adding his own interpretation, his own spin on it, on to it, his his twist. And so the section right before this, he talks about um, the laws concerning divorce and remarriage that are that Moses um, gave down to the people, and then and and the issue of um, you know about what adultery is. And he then he adds to it. Um, but now he's talking about swearing. Um, and I don't mean what you think I mean when um, when I talk about swearing. I'm not talking about, you know, crude language or crass language or just rude language, um, you know, cussing. Um, I'm talking about swearing, you know, like making oaths and grand pledges and things like that, um, you know, sw and swearing an oath upon things, you know, like uh, as he says, you know, don't swear upon the temple because you don't have authority over the temple. You, wh why would you do that? Um, that's, that's the thing, you know, swearing out oaths and pledges, um, uh, on authorities that we, we don't have any authority to swear an oath over. Um, and so a lot of it, you know, when we do that because we still do that, you know, you don't, you don't hear people say, I swear upon the temple of God or upon the altar of God. Um, but we, we do things like that all the time. A lot of it is just um, kind of vain language that doesn't really mean anything. It's just, uh, it's used, uh, it's used as a meaningless expression. It's hyperbole, right, that we use to convey um, our excitement or intensity over something. You know, people say it all the time. It'll just, it's just a throwaway term like, oh, I, I swear to God, if I see him again, um, you know, you're not going to do anything because you're big chuckle head and you're really not going to do anything. So why bring God into all this? Um, and, but then there's also this aspect of, of swearing an oath that we, we do probably need to take seriously. Um, like, like I got a summons for jury duty and I'm going to have to swear an oath. Right. Um, so, and, and, you know, I, I have no idea. I've not actually, ever gone in for jury duty before the, the past times where I've been called up, I actually literally like really had conflicts. Um, and so I didn't, you know, got out of it this time, you know, I don't really have anything going on. So I might as well do it and just get it over with. But I don't know if they still do it. Well, like, do I have to swear an oath on the Bible? You know, like you see on TV all the time. I, I don't know. Um, but why, why do that? Like, what am I saying by doing that? I don't have an, I don't have authority over the Bible, right? You know, if anything, it's got authority over me. Um, you know, so we do have this aspect of swearing an oath, um, of duty or allegiance, and and we do so upon like claiming authority that we don't have. Um, so Jesus is like, why even do that? I think elsewhere he says, you know, just. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Either do it or don't do it. Don't go swearing out oaths that you can't, uh, that you can't like follow through on or that you don't have the authority to enforce. You know, it's it's like about as stupid as a pinky swear. So anyway, that's the DBR. I pinky swear it to you that we're done for the day. Get out, enjoy the day. Watch out for the weather today if you're anywhere in my area. It's supposed to be pretty bad this afternoon. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow with another DBR. Talk to you later. Boop.